Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to make a bottle car using a balloon as our means of propulsion. If you're part of our library community and are participating in the Tween STEAM program, we will be offering limited supplies of material kits at our youth desk starting the week of November 16th. If you don't have access to these kits, not to worry. The materials used for this project are very common items that you will probably be able to find around your house. In the kit, it will include the following. One empty water bottle, four large straws, four bamboo skewers, four bottle caps, two balloons, and one mini roll of duct tape. You will also need the use of scissors and possibly a flat head screwdriver to successfully complete this project. As you build, you'll notice that I've included some extra materials in case of missteps. And after putting this project together, I've discovered just how easily those can happen. So if you do happen to make a mistake, I encourage you to take a deep breath, move back a step or two, and try again. Okay, let's get to building. We're gonna start by assembling our wheel base using the bamboo skewers as axles and the bottle caps as wheels. An axle is a simple machine that helps to make work easier. The axle, the bamboo skewer, goes through the center of the wheels, the bottle caps, which helps to push heavy loads. In this case, the plastic bottles of our bottle car. For the wheel base, you'll be needing the bamboo skewers, the bottle caps, a pair of scissors, and the duct tape that was provided. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be using this orange duct tape here. Begin by snipping off the sharp end of your bamboo skewers. Cut yourself four thin, short strips of your duct tape. Take one of the pieces of your duct tape and place it on the end of your school skewer, folding it over. You'll then take another piece of duct tape and wrap it around tight. You want to make sure that it doesn't go too far down the end of your skewer. Once you have that done, go ahead and do the same to the opposite side. When it's done, it'll look like this. Go ahead and do the same thing to another one of your skewers. When your two skewers have been prepared, go ahead and grab two of your bottle cap wheels. You'll notice that your bottle caps come with a hole already in the center. This was done by taking a screwdriver and just pushing it down through the center of the bottle cap. For right now, we're only going to attach one wheel to each of the axles. You do this by taking the bamboo skewer and feeding it through the hole of the bottle cap. You wanna make sure that the bottle cap fits snugly onto the bamboo skewer. If for any reason it is loose, you may need to go ahead and take some more duct tape and apply it to the end of your bamboo skewer to make the fit snug so the bottle cap will not be easily removed from the skewer. Once you've done one, go ahead and do your other axle. As you can see, this one definitely needs some more tape. Put these axles and wheels aside for later. The next step is to put together our system of propulsion, which is what will hopefully drive the car forward. To do this, we will be using a balloon and a straw. These bottle cars that we're putting together are a lot like rockets. To power a rocket, you need to take some sort of fuel and mix it with oxygen, which will cause an explosion that produces a hot exhaust. This hot exhaust is then fed through a nozzle to control the flow, making it faster, which is what produces the thrust needed to move an object in space. In our case, 
Our hot exhaust will be nothing more than our own hot air trapped inside the balloon, which will then be fed through the nozzle of the straw and hopefully produce enough thrust to propel our cars forward. Now, before you get started, it is a good idea to take your balloon and give it a good couple of stretches to stretch it out so it'll be able to fill up a lot more easily when you put it on the end of your straw. And even, I would suggest, go ahead and blow up the balloon as much as you can a couple of times just to make sure it is nice and stretched out. To assemble the propulsion system, you will be using the balloon, a straw, and duct tape. Once again, I will be using the orange duct tape. This part of the process is pretty simple. What you'll do is take the balloon and feed it over one of the ends of the straws, just a little bit, don't go down too far. And then take a piece of your duct tape and tape the balloon to the straw. The most important part of this step is to make sure you have a nice tight seal between the duct tape and the straw because you don't want any of the air to escape. The best way to do this is do a first piece of duct tape, take a second piece, and then put it down a little bit lower and just make sure it is nice and tight to the straw. As you can see, I went ahead and added another piece of duct tape to the straw. Before you can count this step done, you're gonna to want to test out your propulsion system and make sure that no air is escaping from the balloon. To do that, go ahead and inflate your balloon. Once inflated, pinch the bottom of the balloon tight so no air can escape, and then listen to make sure there isn't a hiss of air coming out anywhere um, along the edge of the tape. And if everything sounds good, you're good to go. Once you have the propulsion system set and the wheels and axles halfway assembled, it's time to put it all together. To start, take one of your straws and cut it in half using a scissors. You don't have to worry about being exact because you can always trim it down later if you need to. Now with your two straw halves, you will then be feeding them through the holes that have already been made in your plastic bottle. Now these pre-drilled holes will not be big enough to fit the straws. So what you'll need to do is take your scissors and snip the holes four times all the way around just to make it a little bit bigger to accommodate the straws. Now we're gonna start with the back of the car. So the mouth of the bottle is actually the back of the car. And what you will do is take your handy screwdriver and one of the straw halves and you can thread that onto the screwdriver and use the screwdriver to then feed the straw through the holes in your bottle. And once you have that done in back, you can go ahead and repeat the process for the front end of the car. This is what it will look like once both straws are threaded through the plastic bottle. Now the one hole that I didn't pre-drill for you is the top hole where the propulsion system will eventually be going. There's a couple ways that you can make this hole. Um, you can take your flathead screwdriver and poke a hole in the top where you want your propulsion system to go. You can, um, if need to, ask an adult to help you with a sharp instrument to start the hole um, and then use your screwdriver to make it bigger. And then again, use your scissors if you need to snip the holes to make it big enough for the straw to fit through. But before we get to that, we're going to put the axles through the straws and attach the wheels. So go ahead and take one of your half assembled axles and you're just going to thread it through the straw. Take another one of your bottle caps and then attach it to the end. Once all four wheels are attached, 
you're going to want to make sure that your car rolls freely. And if it does, you're ready to put on the propulsion system. To do this, all you need to do is to feed the straw through the hole that you made in the top of the bottle and make sure it feeds through the bottle opening. Now that you have a fully assembled car, the only thing left to do is to test it out. To do that, you're going to want to inflate the balloon as much as possible using the straw and make sure you pinch the bottom of the balloon so the air can't escape until you're ready for it to. Go ahead and place your car down on a flat surface, let it go, see what happens. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you lots of luck making your cars.